Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm, well, super excited. It's quite commonly documented that I started this YouTube channel, The Swimsuit Guy, to get and test more tech suits that I couldn't afford to just buy willy-nilly. I couldn't buy every race suit in the world to test them. So I thought if I started a channel, I might get some review samples and you know be able to not only benefit the wider audience and give them insights onto what suits they should buy, but also as someone who was at the time still an active competitive swimmer, try more suits and see what was best for me. Now, five years removed from that, I'm not as actively swimming. I am doing a little master's meet in about six weeks time, but I'm not as bothered about trying all the tech suits, reviewing all the different models. And to be honest, I care more about making content for coaches and swimmers and vlogs and stuff like that than I do tech suit reviews. But back when I started this channel, the main two suits I wanted to test out more in depth was Mizuno and Descent slash Arena Japan. Five years it's taken me to finally get a parcel from Japan, from Arena Japan or Descent, um, the brand that actually make the suits for Arena Japan. And if you don't know, Arena International, um, based in Italy, makes suits for the whole world. But Arena Japan is basically a sports company called Descent, rebranded for Arena because Arena, like Speedo, are a big presence in the international world. So the suits in this box, you can't just buy from Arena Europe, Arena International, Arena America. You have to actually import them from Japan. And I'm super excited to finally be able to try them because, well, I think Japanese suits generally are the best. You know, I'm a massive fan of Mizuno, Japanese suits. The ASIC suits were a little bit more disappointing, but I've heard brilliant things about the Arena Japan models. And I have their two current flagships in this box. Well, at least I think I do. That's what I've been told. And I do know they've got more suits coming out soon. But in this box are the suits that are worn by, well, Yvonne Jorge, all the, uh, all the Arena Japan athletes, uh, such as Mizunuma, uh, Daya Sato, my good friend Adan Johan Chillingworth. Oh, here we go. There we can go, we can see it. Ultimate Aquaforce X, awake your potential. Let's get a bit more into the box. Ugh. I'm super excited. There we go. So uh, I've got four pairs in here. There's two models, just like uh, Mizuno have multiple models for different things. Japan do as well. They have a uh, a motion free, which is like their middle distance distance suit, and they have a control position, which is like their sprint suit. Pretty sure that's the uh, control position, and. That's the Motion Free. Aquaforce is their branding. There's no carbon fiber like the international suits. And uh, I didn't know what size I was gonna be, so I said, do you mind sending me a large and a medium in each suit to make sure, well, they fit me, because it's no good if they don't fit me, right? A Little bit of uh, paperwork. Ultimate Aquaforce X. They did have a non-X version that came out before this. Oh. They come in a little plastic bag, but I've somehow removed that upon opening. Oh, they look slick. So this is one of the newer colorways. It's got a black front and a blue back, which I really like. Kind of gives the slight vibes of the old uh, Carbon Air. The waistband's really different. Like it's uh, still that silicone waistband, but it's not like any of the other models I've tried in my life. Um, there's a lot of taping inside here. There is a stitch seam. Japanese suits, because the Mizunas are the same, Japanese suits have like a stitch seam down the uh, the back for some reason, not a bonded one there. Mizunas are the same. It's not a problem in Mizunos. I doubt it's a problem in this suit. I'm gonna upload this pretty raw, to be honest. I think I'm not gonna edit this too much, but uh, there we go. They have like a Y taping on the back. You know I preferred the old parallel taping of the older Mizuno suits than I did the X taping on the newer Mizunos. So I'm curious as to see how this Y taping works. So it's definitely gonna give some sort of upkick support. And it's this is like some of the most heavy duty taping I've ever felt. Like, I can't even stretch this. Wow, it's rigid. This is a medium. I feel like I can fit in this medium size. The only sort of reference I had other than the sizing charts they, they give out is, uh, my good friend Adam wears a size small and I knew I needed bigger than him. 
but he's a small guy, so I thought I might need a large, but seems like I might need a medium. Anyway, this is the, uh, the control position, dual layered at the back. Oh, you know I like that. Um, really heavy jute and taping, and they actually have different taping on the side seams. This is, as I said, this is taping for performance, not taping for uh, seams uh, or stitching. They have these uh, labels that are really easy to remove as well. And then uh, the next suit, the, the Motion Free. Uh, this is the one that Dai Sato wears and a lot of the distance swimmers who operate out in Japan wear. It's what Adam Chillingworth wears, what Siobhan Jorge wears. I have had hands on with one of these before. I've never obviously worn one in the water. Wow, that's a, that's a really nice feeling suit actually. Still has that stitch seam down the back. Um, so this is like a navy with a red arena logo. I, I really like the aesthetic, but I didn't know this. Inside the uh, modesty lining is red. That's pretty uh, pretty bold. So everywhere there's modesty lining, it's dual layered. Everywhere it's not, it's single layered. Same waistband and leg grippers. Feels like kind of similar-ish to a uh, one of the more papery suits like a Carbon Air or a Speedo Pure Valor, but it's a little more waxy, like it's had the same treatment as Mizuno. It's, yeah, it's, it's papery, but different. Um, interesting seams here. Not sure what their benefit is right off the bat. I'll have to do a bit more research into that, but uh, wow. These look like really cool suits. They have a retail price of 28,000 yen. Um, and a little Lycra branding. Not sure how much that is. I think it's probably about 200 pounds. If you want them, you have to import them from Japan. It's the only way to get them. If you want other suits, you can buy them from my swim outlet link, which is in the description, but you won't be able to get any of these. I think it's a real shame that there's so many suits in the world that you can't just buy readily in the UK or in Europe or in America. And these suits obviously been so popular in Japan, but un unobtainable pretty much in uh, the Western world. So yeah, obviously I'm gonna test these out, give a full review, but I just wanted to make a video right off the bat of me unboxing him. I'm super excited and hopefully they, uh, they justify the excitement. We don't know that yet. I'll have to uh, race in them a little bit and as I said, make you a full review. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see the full review, subscribe to the channel. Loads more other content coming as well. Got uh, some other suits, Mad Wave Blue 70 to review in the future. And uh, as always, I'll see you on the next one.